Okay guys, so today we're going to be learning how to use composite panels and microcontrollers. Let's go. Okay, so to start off with, we've got a little bench here, I guess you could say, or uh, platform. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to be using these composite panels, which are, yeah, instrument panels. We're going to be learning how to use these. So an instrument panel is something that can pretty much hold four dials or buttons or indicators and other stuff. So you go into your select mode, you'll see that you have four instruments. So you, you can have as many as you want, like you don't have to have separate ones, you can have all of them as whatever you want. I'm just going to set first one to an indicator, I'll set that to a gauge, that to a dial. I'll set that to a flip switch. Um, oh, actually, I'll change the dial to a arrow button. Cool thing about these buttons here is that you can change the push or toggle. Keep it as push. So we have our indicator. We have our arrow button. Just calling them these because, yeah. We have a flip switch, and we have our gauge. So, a um, few things we have to know about this. So, these won't take a like normal number kind of number inputs or on-offs or anything like that. They take a composite to them, and channels for that so what we're going to do is we're going to keep our indicator at channel one our abundant channel one we're going to put our flip switch to channel two because indicator will take an on off into it to turn on and off a whatever uh, gauge or a dial will take a number input and then a flip switch and a button well they will both take they will both output an on off signal so this if we have both of them set to one then microcontroller if we press either of them it will send out a signal and we don't want that but pretty much it's about assigning stuff to different channels so let's make a microcontroller i'm just going to call this test panel i'm going to make it three and you have to add either one or two composite nodes. One being an input, one being an output. Um, so the composite output, that will send on off signals and number signals to the panel. Things like indicator lights and dials and gauges and stuff like that. The composite input is where you get stuff from your buttons and your flip switches and stuff like that. And if you're using connectors, maybe other stuff as well. So, um, I think we can start by, so we have our arrow button, because we've got an arrow button on there. We've also got a flip switch. So I'm gonna close flip switch. We've got two inputs. So we've got our indicator. And then we've got a number, which is our gauge. So, what we're going to do is we're going to just go into here, separate our stuff. And it's really quite easy. So, what you do is, firstly, let's uh, let's start with the flip switches and stuff like that. So, you search, search in your logic gate menu, so composite, or and then go read. We have read on off and read number. Read number, well, what it will do is if we place a read number down, what this will do is from this composite, it will output a number from channel one that's going into the composite. We don't want that. We're not going to be using numbers. We're just using on off signals. So let's grab a couple of those. 
No. Now, as you can see at the moment, they're both on channel one. We set our flip switch to channel two because we want the output output on our flip switch to go to channel two. So if we set that to channel two, that would work. Next, we're going to do um, some composite writing. So composite write. We have two here. Now these are both used quite a lot. Um, the number more than the read, but this situation, since we've got an indicator and a gauge, I'm going to grab one of each. Stack them along like this. Now you can do that with them. Now what we're going to do is see that there is a channel count. So for example, if we had if we didn't have an indicator, we had two gauges or whatever. We could do that and suddenly, oh look, we have a second input that we can write stuff. Um, you can't do it with these, unfortunately. And then also there's a start channel where you can actually have a start channel change from node, um, the channel that it writes to, change this, sorry, this, no, that's the channel count. Um, but yeah, this is actually all, this is all set up. So let's just call this a uh, test panel. And let's uh, test this panel. There we go. Now we're going to need a battery. Uh, the cool thing I will, I will say the advantage and disadvantage of flip switches. So flip switches are really useful because they a they don't actually require electricity to work. You can turn them on off without electricity. Downside is the fact that they only provide a toggle state, so you can't use them as a push button, which is why we've got that arrow button. So we've got a battery. Uh, next, we're just going to get. I'm going to get a toggle button. I'm going to get a throttle level. I'm going to grab two lights and then I'll hook them up. So there's our two lights. We have our first light. I'm going to put that to our flip switch, onto our arrow button. Our indicator can come from the button. Throttle lever to our gauge. Connect our electricity. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into this composite here you'll see that the panel has two composites it has the in signal and the out signal just connect those up it'll work so this is the data going into the panel this is the data coming out from the panel now if we uh we've hooked this up right so here we go here's our panel we are gauge at zero if we hold our arrow button down you see the light turns on flip switch there we go, the light turns on. We turn on that button, look, the indicator goes on. And if we set, so this is currently zero, this is at zero. Set this to 0 0.18, that's at 0 0.18. And so this data here, and these here, this is all in here. So you can, comp you can really make some compact stuff and a lot of stuff. If we look at, for example, Let's take a look at an old project like this that didn't work fantastically well and it's still a work in progress. But if you look at something like this, I've managed to fit in all of the stuff that I will need for this area on these panels. But yeah, I mean, I've started doing the same down here. But yeah, so that is that is how you can use the, uh, the panels in game. But uh, yeah, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all for the next video. Bye.